Hello everyone, a bit of a change for this video. We are going to be talking about Miss Namibia. Yes, Miss Namibia isn't really, you know, as popular, but they're still my home country. So I definitely want to shed some light on these ladies. So this year, Miss Namibia has 32 semi-finalists and the top 10 is actually going to be announced really, really soon. And I tried my best to make a top 10 list but at the at the end of the day I could only get them down to 13 13 of my favorite girls and I thought to myself well is it really that hard to eliminate three of these women and the answer is yes uh, it is actually really really hard and since I, I tend to look at Miss Namibia as more of a fun thing, more of a thing just for me and a couple of other Namibians who might be interested, I thought it isn't that serious. You know, this is my video, this is my channel, I can do what I want. So I have 10 amazing women plus 3 bonus women, okay? So first off, I have Zawadi and then I also have Ashley. With Zawadi, I don't really know that much about her. I honestly just like her look and I like what I'm seeing from her so far. With Ashley, however, I do know a little bit about Ashley. Ashley represented Namibia at Miss Asia Pacific International in the past. She's also been a Miss Supranational Namibia contestant where she placed in the top six. So I'm definitely excited. She's gone through a major transformation this woman has leveled up since since 2020 when she competed at Miss Supranational Namibia. She just has improved so much. I mean, just by her physical appearance alone, this woman is so gorgeous. I cannot wait to see how far she gets at Miss Namibia this year. Then we also have Michelle. Now, Michelle might look familiar and that's because she placed as the second runner up at Miss Namibia 2021. Uh, from what I've heard, she was supposed to represent Namibia at Miss Earth but I'm not exactly sure what happened there she was never able to go to Miss Earth so I don't know whether or not she's competing this year with the goal of reaching top three again so that she can actually go to Miss Earth or another international pageant but I must say since last year um, she has improved a lot in the way she comes across physically she's definitely a beautiful woman she's very very tall so yeah, very excited to see what's going to happen with her. Then we have one of my very personal favorites, Aina. Aina competed at Miss Supranational Namibia this year. I think she ended up in the top six. She's just amazing. She has the best personality. She is so bubbly. So I'm definitely excited to see her competing at another national pageant. Then we also have Tamsin. Tamsin obviously is very beautiful. I don't know that much about her, but she definitely has model-esque features. She has sort of a wayfish body type. The body type that the Miss Namibia organization definitely like to go for in their title holders. Then we also have Shasmida. I love Shasmida so much. She also competed at Miss Supranational Namibia 2020, where she also went very, very far. From what I've heard about this woman, she has an amazing personality. I'm so I'm definitely excited to see where she's going to place at Miss Namibia. Then there's Rusa. Rusa is definitely a beautiful woman, and that's about all I know about her. So excited to see what she'll bring. Next, Cassia is definitely one of my favorites for the Miss Namibia title this year. This woman is interested in medicine. I think she's studying to become a paramedic or something like that. She's also a former Miss Teen Namibia first runner-up. I definitely love Cassia. I cannot wait to see how she's going to place. Then we have Diana and Zahida, also both beautiful women. And then we have Romilly. From what I've heard about Romilly, she was uh, in the Ace Models type of thing. So she has that uh, little foundation going for her. I've also heard nice things about her that she's sweet, kind, definitely hoping to see her in the top 10 for Miss Namibia. Lastly, we have Nongi and Lyonne. Now you might recognize Lyonne. She competed at Miss Namibia, shoot, I want to say a few years ago, maybe 2017, 2018. Um, I think she made top 12 back then. But then she also competed at Miss Supranational Namibia back in 2020 
where she also made the top six. So I'm definitely excited to see how she'll place this time around. And yes, that was my top 10 plus 3 for Miss Namibia this year. Please feel free to let me know how you guys feel. Um, I'm so excited. I think they'll be announced on Saturday. So very excited to see what's going to be happening in my home country this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!